Hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. Uh, this is Srinivas Pujari. In this, um, in our last video, so we have uh, discussed about how to create, you know, install uh, what is gateway and then types of gateways and then, you know, so so what is the advantage of using gateways and all. And before that, we have also discussed about the data flow introduction. Okay, what is the use of data flow and uh, um, what is the benefit? Why we going for the data uh, data flow and all? We discussed. Okay, if you haven't watched that video, so I strongly recommend to watch that watch that uh, video first and then watch this video, guys. Okay, so I've explained. Okay, what is the use of data flow and then why data flow and then everything. I have. So which uh, license we need to use that to create a data flow and all. Everything I have explained in this uh, video. I'm going to just uh, explain about by using, okay, how to create a data flow with the SQL Server on-premises, okay, on-premises SQL Server, and how to set up a schedule, okay, auto schedule and a gateway, and then um, use the data flow, whichever the data flow you have created, so use the data flow into uh, Power BI Desktop, and then create a report, and then publish it to Power BI Service, okay, these are the steps we are going to perform. For that, I am going to open a browser, so there I am I'm logging into apps.powerbi.com, so apps.powerbi.com. Okay, here I'm going to one workspace that is a, you know, in workspace, there is a new option, okay? By using this new option, you can uh, create a data flow. Just click on that uh, new option and go to the data flow. Just click on this data flow. Okay. So once you click on the data flow, you can create a data flow by using these four options. Okay. The first option is to create a data flow. And then a second option after creating a data flow, if you want to link another data flow, you can, and then you can choose a model and then you can import that. And then uh, even you can um, attach the um, common uh, model folder also by using this. Okay. So for now I'm going to create a, uh, new data flow that is the reason i am clicking i am choosing the first option okay uh, you can add new tables okay so once you click on add new table so you will see these many options okay these are the uh, sources of uh, data flow can connect okay so almost uh, 100 plus 100 sources it can connect and then so for now uh, in this example i am going to connect with the sql server here is the sql server on premises I'm going to connect with the SQL server and premises, guys, okay? Just click on that and provide the server name and then database name. So let me, you know, go to, um, uh, so in SQL server, this is my server name. Uh, and then database, you can connect any database. So I have this many databases. So I'm going to connect with the Adventure Work DW 2019, okay? So uh, let me, you know, give the server name. So I've already taken into one notepad. Okay, this is my server name and this is my database name. So just give the server name and then uh, database name. And then, uh, so by default, uh, it will go with the encryption option, but I don't want to go with the encrypt option. You can go with the Windows option, uh, Windows uh, authentication. So what is the username and password? Okay, people may confuse here. Okay, love, like how, uh, so for Windows, we don't have a access, right? So like, when you connect with the SQL server, so Windows will not give any username password. To get the username and password, so you can go to the run command. So our run command are in command command from. Uh, you can go to command from there. You can find who um, I. So it will give the username for you, and then password is your laptop password. So take a copy and then so give the password, guys. Okay? So most of the people uh, struggle for this username and password. So there is no, no difficulty. Just go and then in command prompt, you can type uh, who am I. So just give the username and the password is your system login. Like, so if you don't have a system password, you can set up a password and then provide the same password here. Okay, I'm providing my system password. Okay, once you give that and then click on next, Okay, it will uh, connect to the database and then show that all tables, whatever the tables you have. And then you can select the tables, like suppose I want to uh, know dim date table. Okay, dim date table and uh, uh, fact internet sales table. 
a factory internet sales so how many tables you want okay how many tables you want so that many tables okay what are the common tables you have and all then you can go and then uh, transform okay transform data right side corner there is a transform data click on the transform data it will open a power query how you have a power query in your you know power bi desktop same options you have and all okay you can do so whatever the options whatever the you know group by or splitting or uh, so anything okay merge and append so see use first row as a header and if you want to change the data type so whatever the changes you want to do you can do it okay even if you want to create a parameter you can go and then create a parameter so these are the things okay whatever the uh, so transformations you apply suppose if you want if you don't want this uh, uh, names okay so this english or like this this names so let's remove these names okay so just i'm just removing the names columns okay sorry, sorry columns i'm removing the columns okay some some of the transformations okay i i don't want even this column so you can apply some of the you no know, columns but i required okay so these are the columns so that is the reason i'm not going with that see so here apply steps we have and also once you have done a transformation so okay which is a, a sql server data right so everything is a clean data so that's the reason i'm not going with much transformations okay if you want you can apply so like even you know the power uh, power bi desktop right so you can do that mm, then you can go and then close and apply so once you close and apply see it is ready for, uh, it is creating a, a data flow for you it's validating the queries and then once this is validated it will ask the uh, no data flow name which the which name you want to give, give okay so ad adventure work sales um, data flow data flow demo or you can say so this is what i am going to give and then save and save so once you added so it will ask you no know, to schedule the set up a uh, schedule refresh okay just you can go here and then uh, go to the gateway so for you um, it will be you know um, um, it will not run actually so once you know so if you don't know how to install the gateway so previous uh, video i have explained how to install the standard gateway to run your data flow you should have a standard gateway not personal gateway so i have clearly explained how to you know download and install the gateway so actually so to test that so i have added the things okay yeah, so for you it will be not instead of running it will be you know uh, red okay so for that you have to go this option okay so there you have to add a gateway so option is there so once you go to uh, you know add a gateway so it will you know uh, ask the like what is um, data flow name and then source name and then okay so if it is a sql source you can write a sql source if it is excel excel source you can write excel source and uh, sorry <clears throat> and also uh, you, you server name and then uh, database name and then authentication mode okay windows authentication same thing whatever we have given while creating a data flow so you can find who am i and then give a password your system password and then apply changes okay that way you can go and then uh, create a um, uh, gateway okay so once the gateway is done okay once the gateway is done you have to select that here so it will be running green okay uh, then um, then after you can go to the uh, credentials okay so i had i don't have any credentials so i have already given windows authentication right so okay no need to provide here and then you can go to the schedule refresh you can on that and then daily um, uh, utc time zone universal coordinated time zone what time you want to run okay uh, daily i want it to run at 7 uh, am some 7 pm something 7 30 am or pm okay you can write you can add how many times you want to add you can add the so for pro license it's a um, maximum eight times okay eight times okay if you want to give it eight times you can give eight times but if it is a premium license so you can give for 48 times but so based on that. and then so if something went wrong okay you can contact okay you can give an e email id in your company so to whom you want to send that emails or a group of mail also you can send to uh, you can produce the you can set up the emails here and then you can click on apply but for now i'm not going to give anything just you can click on apply so this way it will schedule the data set okay so once it is run and all okay you can see the history okay so how many times it run and all 
so for now it is not run so that is the reason it's not showing so what we'll do we'll uh, manually refresh that once okay we will uh, you know so we have applied uh, done and then we'll, we are, we are going to our workspace so this is our data flow okay so if you want to refresh manually so there is a refresh button you can click on so this is the schedule button okay so just go to a uh, refresh button and then uh, click refresh uh, so it is refreshing see here see this uh, no it is rotating it's processing right so it is refreshing okay once it's refresh you can go and then see the history so on, on demand refresh is completed something it will show okay so the refresh is done and then you can go to the refresh history so see on demand refresh is completed how much time it is taken 12 minutes of uh, time it's taken okay if it if it is a schedule refresh is done okay schedule refresh is done so how much time it's taken and all it will show okay so now we have created and we have set up the you know um, refresh now what we'll do we'll connect this uh, in power bi desktop okay uh, we'll connect the data flow in the power bi desktop to create a reports okay so now uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to connect with the power bi desktop so for that i'm opening the power bi desktop guys okay just uh, a uh, few seconds okay it's opening now so yes so now you can connect that uh, data flow how to connect the data flow you can click on uh, uh, data um, you can click on this um, get data and then go to more options so more options there is a um, power platforms um, section is there you can go to power platform section so here is the data flow in below we have a data flows so just click on um, data flows and then connect. So whatever the data flows are there, so uh, all data flows it will uh, show here. So for now we have you know uh, go to this workspace. Um, in workspace it will show like uh, uh, data flows uh, demo. So there we have AD. AD means adventure works. Uh, data flow demo this is what this is what we have created so whatever the tables we have you know, there in the data flow the same data flows you know so the same uh, tables will show here just a minute it's expanding just a minute guys okay see uh, it is you know, open the date table you can select and then how the table how the database you will connect the same way you can you know, connect to the tables now you can use okay it's a central repository now okay data flow is a central repository you can use for multiple you know um, multiple pbx files you can use that and then um, you know click on load so it will load the data so once the data is loaded you can create a you know uh, report and then uh, you can publish this report into the power bi services okay so i'm going to create one chart i'm not going to create any report just uh, for idea uh, so how to create a data flows and how to connect the those data flows into power bi desktop so that's the reason i have created this one but it's not you know um, my main goal is not to create a you know no very big report and all so i'm not going to create that so just uh, to give an idea how to create the you know data flows by using our premises sql server and um, um, how to connect those um, data flows into power bi desktop and then uh, create a report and then publish okay that is the my main goal okay so these steps you you should understand so that is the thing okay i'm going to give only one chart here okay i'm going to create only one chart and then i will publish into power bi service okay let's take full date name and then um, a sales amount okay sales amount so let's select the sales amount and then go with the, this graph okay so now so it is showing only you know um, same number it's uh, uh, across all years it will be the same number so once you create the relationship between the date key and then due date key so this is not having any relationship once you create a relationship it is show so like um, expected okay so now you can publish into power bi service now save this and uh, data flow report something okay some something like that okay so just i'm going with my the uh, um, uh, any name guys okay so i'm going with the desktop and i will keep the desktop and then uh, i will uh, you know publish into power bi service so to publish that so you should have a uh, no no you to connect to your data flow also you should 
sign into with your desktop okay if you don't sign in your desktop you cannot access the data flow space okay so i'm going to you know publish into data flow uh, workspace and then select so once you select that so it is publishing into the uh, that workspace case okay so once it is uh, published it will give the success and then blue tick uh, tick mark and then blue okay just go here and then uh, click on that so it will open the report okay if you want to see okay what is the source and all for this data uh, report just go to uh, here uh, this is our report right if you see the lineage view okay if you see the lineage view uh, so see for this lineage view okay see uh, sql server as a source for this data flow and then this data flow it's creating a data set after creating a data set okay this is the report so this is the lineage view guys okay hope you understand uh, so where we are getting the data so this is the you know um, uh, sql server and uh, there we have the connection uh, there we have the connection and then this is the gateway so on sql server we have created the data flow data data flow is a feed data flow is giving a feed to the data set and then so we'll discuss okay what is the difference between data flow and data set tomorrow okay so this way we can create and then we can publish the report and then so that is the hope you understand how to create the data flow oh, sorry guys how to create the data flow and then um, uh, how to connect the data flow with the desktop and all okay so this is the way we can create a report and then we can publish into power bi service okay hope you like the video uh, please subscribe my channel if you watch the first time guys and for more videos okay definitely i am going to create and then if you have any suggestion to create some video definitely i will uh, give a comment below so i will create a video for that whenever i get a time and uh, so um, please like the um, video to encourage me if you like the video guys okay thank you so much have a great day guys